Welcome to the New Calculus channel. I am John Gabriel. Uh, further to my previous YouTubes that many of you have already watched, um, and the most recent one called Newton's Blonde Moment, when he introduces the ill-formed concept of infinite series, um, I have actually devised a proof that distribution of multiplication over addition is uh, where infinite series are concerned is not possible. So let me repeat that. Distribution of multiplication over addition where infinite series are concerned is not possible. So where this comes in is where you have mathematicians saying things like x is equal to 0 0.999 like that <coughs> and you multiply both sides by 10 supposedly to get that. Well, this here is actually not possible and I'm going to prove to you that you cannot distribute um, multiplication over addition on the right hand side here to get this because this here is not the actual result. Okay, And I'll show you according to the definition that it is not the actual result. So, let's begin. Uh, you will see from my <coughs> <coughs> previous episodes or previous YouTubes that this identity here is generally true and you can have as many terms as you like in here with the last two terms being these two and the first few terms being these. So if we decide that we're just going to look at this particular uh, identity which comes from this uh, all we did was we stopped after the second term and just uh, completed the equation. Then this identity here implies what we have on the right hand side here. In other words, a is equal to b plus c times whatever is in these square brackets. Does that make sense? Okay. So now, <coughs> now we want to distribute. We want to distribute multiplication over addition or subtraction it doesn't really matter it should be the same okay so and we want to then do that okay so if we do that what we have is what you see in this statement here okay now if we let a equal to 9 b equal to 10 is equal to 1 then we're going to end up with this particular bracket here which has 9 plus 9 tenths plus, plus 1 tenth and the only common elements here will be the 9 tenths and the minus 9 tenths and all these terms inside here will actually add up to give you zero so that the equation is true but now in infinite series what we do well not what we do what mathematicians do is they just throw away this part okay so they actually discard this and <coughs> uh, this is one example here where they do it but you can see if you had to take another version where you add more terms then you'd have slightly more common terms in, in your equation so for example you'd have that and that right okay so if you had to take add one more term you'd have this for your infinite for your infinite series. Okay, do that again. This and this. Okay, can you see that? And these terms here in the purple, these terms here add up to zero. But this this here is called the red part here is called an infinite series. Okay, the red parts. And so again, once again, if you add up the purple parts, you'll see that it'll give you zero. Similarly, if you add one more term into one more term from this uh, red box here okay this red box over here that you see then you'll have this particular equation uh, in which case the infinite series is this see that and these last terms here which are the purple ones will add up to zero so what happens with infinite series is that they discard the purple terms or these terms here okay 
these terms are the purple terms, these are discarded. Thus, the distributive property of multiplication over addition does not apply to infinite series. So when you come back and you say something like, if x is equal to 0 0.999 dot dot dot, and you say 10 times x is equal to 10 times this, 9 over 10 plus 9 over 10 squared, etc. Oh dear. Don't know why that happens. Okay, and etc. like that, then this part here is not equal to 0 0.999. Okay, so this part here is not is not going to be 9.99999. That's just a fallacy. You cannot multiply uh, a constant by an infinite series and expect to get anything logical or reasonable or sane. It's completely insane. So this, this common 10x proof that you see uh, on Wikipedia and a lot of other uh, university websites is a load of junk. It's not possible. You are not able to perform uh, distribution of multiplication over addition where infinite series are concerned. If you read this uh, Extract here from Calculus Single Variable Volume 1 by Brian E. Blank and Stephen George Krantz on page 621 about infinite series. You'll see that mathematicians don't know what they're talking about. And if you start uh, on, if you start over here where it says, of course, in grade school, we do not pause long to reflect on the infinite process symbolized by the trailing dots. Intuitively, we understand that notation must stand for the infinite sum. By the way, intuition is very, very dangerous. Uh, look up that word because most of you don't really know what it means. And you think you're being erudite and academic and smart, but really you don't want to be intuitive when it comes to making certain that your ideas are sound and rigorous. And so it says for the infinite sum, which is supposedly this, even if we have only a fuzzy idea of what it might mean. Wow, that's incredible, isn't it? And then it says, now that we have studied some calculus, we are prepared to understand exactly what such sums signify. <laughs> oh, really? The concept of limit that is needed for the infinite processes of calculus is just what we need to understand the infinite sums that arise in grade school and elsewhere. In fact, our approach is nothing more than a framework for turning our intuition into something precise. <laughs> well, in this case here, it was not turned into something precise, but something really dumb. And I've explained this process here to you with the 999s, all along here and in here, but I could have done it also with 0 0.333, exactly the same story. And so really, um, what you'll see in mainstream mathematics is a load of junk. There is no such thing as an infinite series. It does not exist in any way, shape, or form. And Newton was wrong, Euler was wrong, and if you believe in this, you are wrong too. I don't care if it has been around 500 or 600 years. I don't care if your God or your uh, divine entity that you worship told you that. It's wrong. And I am correcting you. And this video here should be watched by everyone in high school and every mathematics educator and every mathematics professor because it's a very important video in debunking and exposing the stupidity that has been uh, established in mathematics for far too long. It's time that we put all this nonsense behind us, that we got rid of the concept of infinity because it's not required either in mathematics or calculus or any field of rational thought. I hope you have enjoyed this video. My name is John Gabriel and this is the New Calculus Channel. Till next time.